Welcome back, Toners. Today we're gonna make some CMOS gel. Let's get it. All right, Toners. To start off this recipe here to make this CMOS gel, um, this is pretty much how it looks. Uh, dry version if you were to purchase uh, just a dry seaweed um, it's a large ball of basically dried up seaweed um, it's very hard very compact um, and you basically have you can like just break it or pull it apart um, you can try cutting it if you want um, doesn't matter you still want to blend it all up but just pull off some chunks um, see this large bag that we had we only used a very small amount like uh, that 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 was pretty much uh, almost less than a half of that large chunk and we took off about an eighth of that less than that but we basically went and took that and placed it under the water and rinsed it off um, it took about only 30 seconds or so for it to all soften up to break apart and we just rinsed it off about three four times to get any rocks or loose dirt or anything that was on there off and this is uh, basically how it looked after we hydrated it for about a minute or so um, we filled our uh, bowl up with water and basically put all of our uh, seaweed into it and this is uh, how it looked and it basically hydrated immediately uh, we went ahead and just placed that into uh, the refrigerator and left that overnight we let that go for uh, 12 hours this is how it looked the next day I was like wow oh, that little small amount that small chunk that we broke off hydrated this much and this is how much uh sea moss that we got out of that small amount so we went ahead and took that and rinsed that off again we basically rinsed it off about four or five times just to make sure we got all of this uh, salty seawater out of it and uh, just cleaned everything off um, this is how it looks up close a lot real stringy looks like you know some spaghetti noodles with, <laughs> with it's all all compacted uh, we end up taking about about a cup's worth of that and placing it into our blender cup and then we added in some water uh, we end up adding about 12 ounces of water to this and um, basically just place the lid back on it and put it onto the blender to blend everything up uh, depending on how much water you add to it will depend on the consistency of it um, the, and that process is totally up to you uh, you basically just don't want it to be clumpy or anything um, we so we put it into the blender, blended it up, and ended up <clears throat> excuse me ended up mixing this up for about a minute. Um, you know, if, if you don't have enough water in it, it will possibly be chunky or anything like that. But uh, if you put too much water, then it could be uh, runny or not enough water. It could be a bit thicker. But that portion is all up to your your own personal preference. As long as it's not chunky or anything, um, or any chunks of seaweed in it, you're fine. This is how ours looked. Um, it's uh, uh, a bit on the light side, uh, but it's all a, a homogenous mixture. It's, it's a, a gel, gel-like thickness. Um, I'd say it's like the consistency of like paper mache or, or Elmer's glue. Um, and th this is how much we got out of it just from that small one cups amount. Now again, this is how much we still have left from this small amount that we that we hydrated in the top left. Uh, this is how much sea moss gel that we have left. Uh, we went ahead and took that and poured it into uh, a mason jar to store it. And um, we went ahead and tried this out. Um, the taste of this basically tastes like nothing. It, it, it really tastes like nothing. Um, but you just get that gluey. You, you, you feel like you know what it tastes like, but it doesn't really taste like anything. Um, we went ahead and poured that into a glass uh, jar, and this is how much uh, additional sea moss gel that we had left. Um, I ended up going ahead and just blending the rest of all of it up because I didn't want to just let it sit in the water. Um, I actually did let it sit in the water for about another two or three hours before I blended up the rest of it, and it, it seemed like it even thickened up a bit more, just soaked up even more water. But this, uh, we, we got 
three large uh, jars of this sea moss gel. So basically gonna um, try this out with different recipes, um, using it in some smoothies. Uh, maybe take a teaspoon of it to in the morning or something. Say so recommendations to take about one or two teaspoons a day for adults, one for children. Uh, but this basically has about it says it has what 92 of the 102 uh, vitamins that your body needs uh, on a daily basis. So I'm gonna try this out, see how we feel with doing this. Um, I purchased this from uh, got this from the Mission brand. Uh, here's a link to their website. And um, they sell a variety of different products, wellness products, uh, soaps. Uh, they sell uh, the sea moss gel uh, pre-made already. They sell the dried version. They sell peels and the powders. Um, also uh, some herbs. Um, so go ahead and check them out if you're interested in this. Um, if you guys have any questions or comments, or if you do that, do take sea moss gel. Let me know the benefits of it or how you use it. Uh, but uh, I do want to say uh, thank you guys for watching. Again, if you have any questions, hit me up in the comment section below. Yeah. Enjoy. 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 And please subscribe. Enjoy. Hey, Towners. Please like, share, and subscribe. If you have any questions or comments, please feel free to leave them in the comment section. All ingredients and directions are listed in the description box below each video. And as always, thank you guys for watching.